Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty. I wanna talk about a topic that I've talked a lot about in, in a lot of our vlogs that we've had on this channel, but we've never actually kind of really talked through operating with your fingertips and why that's important. So if you noticed a lot of good operators, uh, either on the job site or if you go over to uh, other channels. I know for a fact, Chris over at Let's Dig, uh, you've got Dirt Boss, uh, you've got Elite Earthworks. A lot of those guys, when you start really looking at the way they operate, instead of grabbing the joystick with their whole hand, you'll notice most of those guys are going to have it in their fingertips at the top. And I've talked about this in a lot of vlogs, but we've never really broken down why that's so important and what that does for you from an operating standpoint. So one of the first things, and one of the more obvious reasons, once you really start thinking about it, is the amount of control we have in our fingertips. If I'm gonna take this pen, and I'm gonna write my name on a piece of paper, what kind of animal grabs it with their whole hand and tries to write their name? Nobody, because that would be the most ridiculous thing in the world. Because what kind of control do I have in my wrist and in my arm? It's, it's not finesse, it's not fine motor skills. I've got a big old meat cleaver here that I'm trying to do everything with. Versus if we use the pen like a refined human being, well, now all of a sudden I can do very precise, tiny little movements with my pen and it's not an issue. So I've got a lot more control in my fingertips than I'm ever gonna have in my big old ugly mitt here. But there's a second component to this. Let's think of this as our joystick. And if you can imagine, let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Let's focus on the pin there. Okay, there we go. So if we've got our joystick here and it's fixed at the bottom, right? This thing rotates like this. If you think if I grab down here and I'm going to push this all the way to where it stops, I've got from here to here worth of movement. Similarly, if I push it this way down here, I've got from here to here with the movement. But if you look up here, if I do the same thing, there's where we stop. Instead of getting this little movement like we had down here, I've now got a lot of motion that I can work with. And there's actually a term for this. It's called range of motion. We have significantly more range of motion at the top of our joystick than we do at the bottom of our joystick. Well, how does that help us? If you think about when you're doing very, and let's use an excavator because primarily this is where this is really gonna come into play. If you think about running an excavator, we're controlling everything with hydraulic valves. And if I've limited my range of motion to this little part down here at the bottom, well, that means that I've gotta be really precise with my movements in my hand if I'm gonna do any sort of finesse work. Versus if I grab the joystick from up here. Well, now all of a sudden, if I move my hand just a little bit, that's only cracking the valve open a little bit and I can get very precise movements. Versus if I had my hand down here and I move it just a little bit, well, guess what? I mean, that's a tiny little movement for my hand, but look at how much the top of my joystick is moving. That's not a very big movement in my joystick. And yet up here, it's a lot of movement. So it makes sense that if we were to grab this sucker at the top, now we have this full range of motion that we can work in, and now we can get super precise with our movements because we're not only grabbing it at the top and increasing our range of motion, but we're using our digits instead of our giant meat cleaver. So that's what I've got. That is why if you really look at most of your really good operators, they are fingertip operators. They're going to be using fingertips a lot. You'll see them switch back and forth because obviously in a bulking application, you know, there are times where it's just easier to grab the, the joystick and, and use it that way. But most of your good operators, especially when they start getting into precision operating situations, you will see them move to their fingertips being at the top of the sticks and you're gonna see very, very fine controls. That is why we do it the way that we do. So as always, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next Down and Dirty.